Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. I'm going to be showing you how to use some of the special effects and color tricks in the MCP Inspire set. This is a photo of my daughter Ellie, and we're going to be adding clouds to this image. We're going to come into the action palette and go down to the special effects section. And you'll notice I've already done a few mild edits to this photo. There's the before and there's the after, very subtle so far. We're going to use the custom faux cloud overlay and click play. There will be messages. You're welcome to read those when you play it on your own. As you can see, this message warns you that you must do some type of transformation and to ignore the spilling. You'll see that there are clouds like on her skin right now. There won't be when we're done. And drag your clouds till they have a natural shape. They will be changing and they won't be quite as intense as this. But go ahead and move them where you want. And so position them where you want and resize them how you'd like. Once you're done, click the check key or enter or return. The action will continue running. You'll see your photos back to the initial size again. It just relocates it to a smaller size for a moment. And now it says paint with white to reveal clouds. So you'll see you already have a white brush selected and we're gonna go ahead and paint where we want the clouds. Unless you have white or very light colors in the photo, you're going to be pretty safe painting even like around trees. See how I'm just painting it's not spilling on the trees. If you were to paint over her skin because it's light, you may have some overspill. If you have overspill, switch to black. So like around the tree line here and just paint back. Back to the painting again. Let's go ahead now. We're on the paint to reveal layer and I want to go ahead and change the opacity to make it look a little bit more realistic because this is a more pastel picture. I want it a little bit lower. Let's go ahead. The clouds are in the background. It's very blurry back there because of my shallow depth of field. So I want to turn on the blur clouds layer as well. You're welcome to adjust or move the clouds after the fact as well. So you would select the cloud layer, the cloudy texture layer, and use the move tool, which is a letter V on your keyboard as a shortcut. And you can move them around once you've done all your masking too. Next, we're going to work on this photo right here. This one is from Andrew Miller Photography. And I've already, again, taken the liberty of doing some edits just to make things speed up. I did custom depth of field on the background, brilliant base, vitality, and lemon sorbet. Next, we are going to add some sunlight to this image. We're going to go ahead and use the custom sunlight action. Once it's done building, you will see three different color swatches and three different layers with sun. By default, the left sun will be on, which is not what we want here. So I'm going to turn it off. We actually want the right sun so that it's coming in right from where the light is coming around this building. Once you have that turned on by using this eyeball on and off, you'll change the opacity to what you want. If you want to change the color of the sun so it's not quite as clear or yellowish, we can turn this layer on. You'll see it's orange. And you can even click and change it to your surroundings. For this photo, I'm going to leave it though. I'm going to collapse the folder to keep things neat. Lastly for this photo, let's use gem polish. This action will bring out details in your photo and really make it pop. It works especially well on beads, gemstones, jewelry, eyes, lips, freckles, and any other details. We're going to be using a white brush, which you can see is already selected by default. We're going to paint on the areas that we want to make more intense and bring out. So you can see I painted over the dress and now I'm painting over the railing. Maybe the sign in back. Possibly even this window in the back. Let's take a look at what that accomplished. There's our before and our after from using gem polish. Let's make a snapshot so we can compare. Here's our straight out of camera. And there's our edit. Lastly, we're going to work on this photo and I'm going to show you how to change wall color. Again, I've already started the edit. Here's the beginning. 
and here's what I've edited so far. I ran Brilliant Bass, Spunky, Caring, which is a mood ring, and Rich. Next, I'm going to run the Color Changer. We're going to use the Auto Color Changer, and I press play, and it tells us how to do this, which is you click on the background or the area. You can change a shirt, change a background, whatever you like, and you're gonna click and then click with plus dropper until you've got the area you want selected. Note that anything else that's turned white will be impacted. So those are areas that you're gonna have to come back and mask. It pops up and asks you to pick your color. So for now, let's go ahead and pick a purple. So I'm gonna kind of pick a lighter purple that will look more natural. Then I click OK. And I'm going to need to mask. And these are the directions popping up. So I'm gonna ignore those for right now. You'll notice that the win window, like the window pane, now has like a purple hue. You'll have to decide if you like that or if you want to mask that back. You will definitely want to zoom in, which is control or command and the plus key. Zoom in and move around as you paint to make sure you don't have any spillage. For the purposes of the video and not having it be too long, I'm not going to do that. We would obviously come in here on his jeans and I would very carefully mask on that, make sure there's no spilling on the little girl. You can see the sidewalk was impacted. So I am going to come in here on the sidewalk and paint on that as well. If you overspill, see how there's blue coming through? I wasn't real careful there. You will click your X key or just switch to the brush color back to white and paint back to reveal the effect. So the white reveals the effect. Okay, and you would again go in there with a close brush. I'm gonna show you the final image what it ended up looking like is this. So this was our before and this was the after. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot about changing the color of your object as well as adding a sky and adding sunlight and making details on jewelry, dresses and whatnot pop. Thank you so much for watching. It's Jody from mcpactions.com.